What's going on, people? This is Ty Shira from Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to CMA Answers. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to reduce the loading time of contact instruments. Besides being its own instrument, there's some very sophisticated and dense third party instruments for it. For example, Sample Logic's Morphostra 2. It has a 25 gig library, incredible sound and features, plus a beautiful interface. This all plays into how it loads and operates within contact. So, let's go find our instrument. And let's see how long it actually takes to load by default. Now, I know what you're thinking. That didn't take that long to load, Tashir. Actually, it does. I sped that up, and it actually takes just over two minutes to load this instrument. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So, what I'm going to show you is how to reduce the loading time by using Contact's Batch Resave. Let's go up to File, then down to Batch Resave. And when you get this window right here, click Yes. Now, at this point, you want to search for the instrument folder within Contact. So, I'm going to my Native Instruments folder, then Library, and down to the Morphostra 2 folder. And there is a folder for Morphostra 2 within that folder. Select that, then click OK. And now, this is going to take a while for it to actually resave. In fact, it took about an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, no joke. But that varies depending on the instrument. Now that that's done, I would suggest removing contact, then reloading it. Find your instrument, then reload that. And now, this is the actual loading time of Morphostra after the resave. Now, the cool thing about the batch resave is you only have to do it one time. Now, hopefully, this hasn't turned you off from Morphostra 2 because it's a great instrument. And you'll see my review shortly. Trust me, you're going to enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.